There is an orthopedic assessment test, in fact, a movement assessment test known as Trendelenburg gait. And the concept of Trendelenburg gait is to assess the functional strength of the gluteus medius musculature and, in fact, other abductor of the thigh at the hip joint uh, musculature. And really what we're looking at is not so much the ability for the gluteus medius to abduct the thigh, but rather to do its closed chain reverse action of depression or lateral tilt force on the pelvis at the hip joint. So what we're going to look for is to see if the pelvis, the iliac crest height, left to right, remains level. So Justin, can you put your arms up so we can better see the iliac crest height? And now what I want you to do is take your right foot off the floor, and what we want to see in a healthy individual is a level iliac crest. Go on down, lift your left foot off, and a level iliac crest. Go on down, and now your right one again. So what we're looking at here is when he is supporting his weight on his left foot, his left gluteus medius needs to isometrically contract to pull down on the left iliac crest to keep it down and prevent it from rising up and prevent the iliac crest from falling on the non-supportive side. Go on down. So this time I'm going to ask you again to raise your right foot off the floor, but this time let your pelvis drop to the right. So he drops down to the right, which means the iliac crest lifted on the left, which means that the gluteus medius on the left side, the stance leg side, did not generate the isometric contraction force to hold the pelvis down. Now, just lifting your right foot, then back down, then your left foot down, I want you to do it the unhealthy way, letting the pelvis drop to the side where you take the foot off the floor. So lift the right foot and drop to the right, Go on down, left foot, drop to the left. Great. Okay, now, now we're going to put this in a more realistic uh, Trendelenburg gait evaluation where we ask the client to walk toward us three or four or more steps to see whether or not he can keep the iliac crest height level or if he drops to the unsupported side. So I'm going to move over this way. We'll do four steps starting with the right side, left, right, left. First, let's do it the healthy way where you have good engagement of your gluteus medius musculature. So right, go ahead, right side, left side, right side, left side. Beautiful. Now you can go on back. Now this time, with each time that the foot leaves the floor, let the pelvis drop to that side, okay? So this would then be a positive Trendelenburg gait for weak gluteus medius musculature. Go ahead, drop to the right, drop to the left, drop to the right, drop to the left. Okay, go on back. Now, very often this is a gait uh, manner that some people choose to walk in like a model on a catwalk because it basically draws the eye of the viewer toward the pelvis. However, even if someone does this on purpose, not because they have to do it, but they choose to do it, if they keep walking this way for a long period of time in their life, they will not strengthen, engage, and strengthen the gluteus medius, and in time, this will become an involuntary manner in which they walk. So let's do that model catwalk positive Trendelenburg gait one more time. Go ahead with the right, drop to the right, really exaggerate it, drop to the left, drop to the right, drop to the left. Okay, you can go on back. So, positive Trendelenburg gait. When one foot lifts off the floor, the pelvis drops down to that side. We see an asymmetrical iliac crest height. We see that. We can assess a functional weak gluteus medius on the side that they were supporting the weight, the stance side. Trendelenburg gait orthopedic assessment movement analysis. If you liked this video, know that it is part of our video streaming subscription service. Click the link below for more information and receive a free ebook when you sign up.